Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing good. Today we will be covering one of the key component of VBCS that is input search. Input search lets user to enter a search query. Take an example, you have a data source. So it basically lets user to search onto that data source. Okay. So here the data source which I am using is a business object called departments. Uh, it has various fields such as department code and department name. So in code it basically takes in the code of the corresponding department. So take HR for human resource like that. Now coming to the development part. Let us drag and drop the input search component. It's a very simple component and very easier to use and it is very handy and it is of great use. So I'll show you how it is easy to add uh, data to it. So for that, come to the prop properties palette. I'll just add a placeholder, call it as department name. So you have, s when you come to the data, uh, you see you, ha you have value, you have suggestions, you have suggestion item text. So in suggestion you can actually uh, define your data source and what you want to populate in the suggestion text uh, that is you specify in the suggestion item text. So we can do it here manually or we can use the quick start guide. I'll show you how to do it with quick start guide it is very easier just click on add suggestion. Choose your uh, source of data for me it is business object departments just click on next. So for the suggestion item text I want department uh, code and in row data I'll include department name and ID. So just click on next and click finish. Now you come to your data you see the suggestion you have specified your STP you have specified what text to be populated in the suggestion. Uh, text so when you click on it you see the codes are populated but now coming to the actual use case here so the end user might not know what does this code stand for IT HROP what does these stand for so we can actually manipulate our code a bit and can also add other information in the suggestion drop down so I'll leverage one of the property of this input search that is the suggestion item template. Now coming to the code, we'll just add a small template here. Template slot equal to what was the name? Uh, what was the name? Name was I think suggestion item template. Yeah. So we'll just copy it. Okay. Come to our code. Sorry, uh, just type it here that was suggestion item template and we'll just close our template here. Okay, I'll just beautify it a bit. So what the error it says? Ok 
Okay. It does not say any error earlier it was showing yeah. So error is it does not have ID, so I'll just quickly give it a ID. So now in template, uh, so that in the drop down we want to add both the code and the name so that it will be easier for the end user. So I'll be using highlight text for that. Just drag it here. So in text I would want current data of this uh, list current dot data dot department code okay then I'll concatenate it with the colon and then I'll again add uh, the field name that is the department name here and then I don't want this match text I'll just remove it for now now coming to live so now you see you have IT and you also have the description so it makes so it becomes easier for a user to understand what does this code stands for and when you click on it the code goes into the value hope you would have liked this video you have would, you would have found it useful if so i'll request you to please subscribe my channel thank you